Hello everyone, my name is Devich. So today I'm going to be making a tutorial video on how to use one of the most important equipment in a commercial kitchen, a weighing scale. So before starting, I'm going to be talking about the benefits that a weighing scale provides a chef or anyone working in a commercial kitchen. So the first thing is, it helps us make standard recipes. So standard recipes lead to consistent results. So it's important that we need to measure everything when we are beginning as a cook, as a chef, so that we can get an idea of how the ingredients should be and how much they should weigh. So this will help us produce a standard result overall, each and every time. Come. So there we have a digital weighing scale. If you come and take a closer look, it has two buttons. So this one is the tear button and the other one is the unit button. So unit button shows the measurement and how to like change the measurement units. We'll come on to that later, but let's start with this button. This is basically the on and off button. So once we turn it on, that's how it goes. And when we look, take a closer look. So the unit of measurement right now is grams. So when we use the unit button, we can change uh, the measurement. Now it's fluid ounces. Now it's pounds and ounces and now it's milliliters. So what we are going to do today is we're going to measure everything in grams. So first things first, I'll show you how to put a bowl and how to turn the scale to zero. This is what we call tear. So suppose you've put a bowl like this. So for now, the uh, weight of the bowl is 400 grams approximately. So when we press this button, the tear, it goes to zero. So now it's ready for our weighing ingredients. So the first thing that we're going to weigh is sugar, simple caster sugar. We have to ensure every time that the bowl that we use is clean and the, and the unit on there is zero. So we're going to measure 150 grams of caster sugar. So that's 150 grams of caster sugar. Next up, we're gonna give a bowl a clean. So again, a clean, clean weighing scale and another fresh clean bowl. And now we're gonna measure the flour. And once again, I would like to point towards the fact that since we didn't tear the scale, so it shows minus 284 grams. So now we're gonna press the tear button again. After placing the bowl, it's gonna be zero again. So once it reaches zero, then we can measure the flour. Again, 150 grams of flour as well. Always ensure you use clean equipment and clean bowls for measuring your food and the other stuff. And now once again, for the third and final ingredient, we're gonna use cocoa powder. So here's another clean bowl. We're gonna tear the scale again, bring it back to zero. And we're gonna measure 50 grams of cocoa powder. That's 50. I'll also go over a few of the safety and hygiene procedures you would need to follow when working with any sort of food, be it flour, cocoa powder, chicken, poultry, anything. So first things first when you need to enter the kitchen, remove your personal belongings. That includes rings, bracelets, bangles, most importantly watches as well. Once you are done with this, and now as for the measuring, always clean your scale with a kitchen towel so that nothing else goes in the ingredients that you're going to be using. 
and always clean your bowl before using. Use a clean kitchen towel, a paper napkin or a chucks. Whatever you want to use, whatever is convenient for you, that's what you should be using. And also ensure that your hands are clean and sanitized before working with any sort of food ingredient. And you work in a clean kitchen environment. So guys, I'm going to wind up this video by saying that we now know how to measure ingredients on a weighing scale and we also know the safety and hygiene protocols that need to be followed. If you still have any doubts about any of that, just drop a comment in the comment section or feel free to mail me personally and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, have a good day.